And now today we're going to be going for uh, DoorDash deliveries. I'm going to give it one more shot since I'm in a different market. And we're going to see if it's um, any different from the experience that I had back in my home market in Atlanta. So I'll go online at 11.30. I genuinely don't have any good expectations for how today is going to play out with DoorDash because uh, honestly speaking, it wasn't uh, a good experience before for myself. Now, if you do want to try this out for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below. It gives me a referral bonus and it gives you a bonus. So if you wanna try it out, please use my link. You don't have to, but it would be nice. And before we get into this video, I'd like to ask you to like this video. So if you can take just a quick second and bloop the like button, that'd be great. And uh, let's get right into it. Gonna go online and dash now. Now we are online and uh, we're just waiting on the uh, requests. And uh, we just got our first request. It's for uh, $2.50 going 1.7 miles. And uh, realistically speaking, it's gonna take us about 15 minutes to get this request completed. So, um, you know what? It's going towards the direction I want to go anyways, so I'm going to accept it. Picking up DoorDash for Christopher. Alrighty, thank you. Got the order, it only took us about three minutes to get it, so I guess it wasn't too bad. And now we are on the way to go drop it off. It says it's four minutes away. Uh, yeah, $2.50 isn't much. Um, really, you shouldn't take these orders, but it's taking me towards the area I was going to anyways. And because the traffic is getting rerouted, here I am stuck in a little bit of traffic. But once again, I was going to go this direction anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. And uh, here we are, done with the first uh, trip of the day. Made 250, no cash tips. And uh, here we have another one, $5.50. Still staying in the same zone that I want to be in, which is not bad. Have a delivery for Michelle. That was kind of a weird place to deliver to. I had to go all the way to the back office and uh, put it on the front shelf, which is weird, but whatever. And uh, so far we're sitting at $8 in the first 32 minutes. Now this order that I just received is 4.4 miles and it's uh, for 4.75. I am not going to take this waiting on the new one to come in but from now on i'm not going to be taking uh orders that don't make sense to take so jesus what a horrible road two dollars and 75 cents for 1.5 miles i'm gonna decline that here's one more for uh 425 4.9 miles from chick-fil-a i'm gonna decline that as well and uh keep on waiting on the better orders it does seem like uh, doordash is way busier here than it is in atlanta and um maybe i can continue on canceling the orders until something decent comes in and uh we just got an order for 12 dollars 25 it says that it's going to take us until 12.50 from popeyes but it's only going 6.8 miles and uh we're going to accept it and uh, obviously go pick it up now. Anyways, I'm three minutes away from the pickup location. Uh, probably it's not ready considering how Popeyes is in Atlanta, but uh, maybe, maybe I get lucky. And if I do, then this whole thing shouldn't take me more than, uh, you know, 15 minutes in total. And uh, right before I was about to finish everything, I got another request that's apparently on the way, also from Popeyes. It's gonna add me another $5.61 for an additional mile. And obviously, we're gonna take that because that is not bad. And uh, same location for pickup, which is awesome. Let's go and uh, pick up this request. Two massive bags and uh, five drinks. Took them way too long to get this stuff done. And uh, both of the orders are going pretty close uh, within each other, which is nice. So that shouldn't be too bad. It says it's going to take me 13 minutes to get to the first one. And then I would assume it takes me three to four minutes to get to the second one. And the time now is 12.31. I had to wait 15 minutes to get both of the orders. Okay, thank you. So there we go. First out of the two deliveries. Got to go uh, run it up real quick and I'll be right back. Now that we are back, it is time to go and deliver the second one, which is... 
six minutes away. And uh, the second delivery is at a hospital, which is, uh, I guess, interesting. So hopefully it's not somebody sick with COVID or something. <laughs> And uh, here we are, back at it again. Uh, the time is now 1.03, and the current amount is 29.33, but we are outside of the box. Gonna end this dash, it's gonna give us a summary, online for an hour and 36, four deliveries. And then we're gonna go straight back out there and dash now. Got the first request. It's taking me further away from where I wanna be and it's $3.50. I'm going to obviously decline it because it's just not worth it. The order is too small and uh, waiting on the next request. And uh, just got one more request. It is for 574.8 miles, but it's saying that it's gonna take me uh, until 152 to deliver it. Well, realistically, it's asking me to deliver it by 152 which is fine um i guess i'll take it we'll see how that one goes uh, i'm not familiar with any area here so it doesn't matter and uh, we just gotta make a u-turn we are about four minutes away and uh should be fine if you look out this window there is this little interesting car and that is um something that i want in the future i guess so hopefully one day i'll be able to um afford myself a 911 porsche gt3 rs <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. Honestly speaking, driving in the city is horrible, <laughs> to say the least. I actually worked out a deal to work uh, to park at a valet location um, at a hotel that's in the same plaza. And uh, they were nice enough to let me park for uh, two minutes before they charged me. Um, but uh, the food was ready, so it wasn't bad. And honestly speaking, you'd be better off delivering in the city with a moped or like a scooter, a motorcycle, even a bicycle. And then some places, maybe even on foot. <laughs> it's pretty tough to deliver with a car in this area. They'll tow your car away, no questions asked. That car literally parked not even two minutes ago and uh, they are towing it away already. It'd be interesting to see if you could maybe like deliver on a bird or like lift scooter that you just rent in the city and uh, go around delivering to people. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if uh, maybe that's something that interests you. But realistically speaking, I probably won't do that because there's probably not enough interest in that. And I would assume it's a little tough to do that considering that uh, you gotta carry all the food and uh, ride the scooter and uh, film. <laughs> probably too tough. So I don't think I'm gonna be delivering for the whole three hours because right now the weather seems to be like it's about to start raining. And I genuinely don't wanna deliver in rain. I got a DoorDash delivery. And just finished with that delivery request. Now we are uh, on the way to pick up another request. Allegedly, I'm supposed to drop it off in the next 15 minutes. Is it possible? I don't know, but uh, three and a half miles, something $7. It should be a decent order. So considering that I've been online for almost two and a half hours now, I, um, this is going to be my last delivery unless one more comes in that is way more than I usually receive. And uh, this pickup wasn't bad at all. Um, even though it was in the city, I was allowed to park in a valet spot. The food was already ready, which is awesome. And uh, here I am now just uh, on my way to deliver. And it's telling me that it's going to take me five minutes according to this map. Um, obviously, it's an apartment building, pretty large. So theoretically speaking, it's probably going to take me longer than that. But I'm not really stressing over it. The time is 1.51. I'm going to be done by maybe 2 p.m. And if that's the case, maybe we'll squeeze one more delivery in. <laughs> uh, hypothetically speaking, we should be done with it before 2. So that is nice. Let's get this going. They wouldn't allow me to go up, which I guess makes my life a little easier. But now the total is 850, I was shown 750, and this delivery ended up working out pretty well. It is working out here a lot better than it was working in Atlanta. It's getting really windy and it's probably going to rain very soon. So uh, you know what, I'm gonna call it a day. It's a solid 2 p.m., meaning it's an exact two and a half hours. We're gonna go and and dash. And now we can uh, say that the day is over. It is a lot better than it is in Atlanta. Um, 
43.57 for two and a half hours comes down to 17.43 pre-expense, but I'm gonna give you a full breakdown from home so I can sit down, calculate, and show you all kinds of different data metrics that I keep track for. And uh, here I am, I'm back. I do look a little rusty, so let's fix that. That's way better. I guess with that being said, let's get right into the numbers. As I've already said, I've made $43.57. The total amount of miles I drove is 26.35. Average fuel cost was 2.89 per gallon. And I got 26.4 MPGs, meaning I've used exactly one gallon of gas. Uh, I will just say that my maintenance cost is two cents per mile, and then my depreciation is 10 cents per mile, meaning that fuel maintenance depreciation comes down to 25 cents per mile of my true expense. This is the number of what I ended up averaging per hour after expense, but pre-tax. And keep in mind that you have to pay taxes. No matter what it is, no matter how you earn your money, you need to pay your taxes. Even if you're getting paid your 10 bucks an hour, you still need to pay taxes. 